story 52. I can see. Spare some money. Give some money to a poor blind beggar, Bartimaeus cried. He had bad eyes and he couldn't see. Everything was dark. All day long he sat by the dusty, dirty road. All day, every day. He couldn't see to work, so he had to ask for money. Then, one day, Jesus came to the town where Bartimaeus lived. Bartimaeus knew that Jesus made people well. Perhaps Jesus would make him see. There were voices, loud, excited voices. Bartimaeus could hear people coming. Slap, slap, patter, patter. Bartimaeus could hear their feet. Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus! He shouted at the top of his voice. Jesus heard and he stopped. Tell him to come here, Jesus said. Jesus wants to see you, they told blind Bartimaeus. At once he threw off his coat that kept him warm. He jumped up and ran to Jesus. He couldn't see, but people helped him find his way. What do you want me to do? Jesus asked him. I want to see. Please make me see. You trusted me to make you better. Jesus said, so you shall see. Bartimaeus opened his eyes wide. It wasn't dark anymore. It was light. I can see, I can see, he shouted in delight. I'm coming with you, Jesus. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. It is never dark where I am. Come with me and walk in the light. Story 53 A Nasty Little Cheat Zacchaeus stretched up, up to the lowest branch of the tree. He could only just reach. He was such a little man. He began to climb. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. But there were so many people, and they were bigger than he was, and he couldn't see past them. So he said to himself, I'll climb that tree. I'll be able to see him from there. Jesus came by. Zacchaeus looked straight down at him from his tree. To his surprise, Jesus stopped. He looked right up at Zacchaeus. Come down from that tree. Jesus said with a big smile. I want to come to your house today. He said it as if they were friends already. Zacchaeus was very excited. He was rich, but no one wanted to be friends with him. Zacchaeus was a tax man and a cheat. And when he came to collect people's tax money, he made them pay too much. How can Jesus go to that man's house? Everyone grumbled. Zacchaeus is nothing but a nasty little cheat. But Zacchaeus stopped cheating. Jesus was his friend now. He wouldn't like it. I shall give half my money to the people who don't have enough, he said to Jesus later that day. And I'll pay back everyone I've cheated four times as much as I took. It's people like you I want to rescue and bring back to God, Jesus said. He was very pleased. Story 54 Little House at Bethany Jesus went to Jerusalem. It was festival time, the Passover time. And the city was full of people, so he stayed at the house in Bethany, where Martha, Mary and Lazarus lived. It wasn't that far away. Martha was always busy, busy cooking and cleaning the house. Tell Mary she must help me, Martha said to Jesus, all hot and flustered. But Mary was listening to Jesus. She didn't want to miss a word. Jesus wanted Martha to listen too. 
He didn't need a special meal. He didn't mind a bit of dust. Martha and Mary and Lazarus loved Jesus very much and he loved them. One dreadful day, Lazarus was ill. Martha and Mary sent a message to Jesus. Please come quickly or he'll die. But Jesus didn't get there in time and Lazarus did die. Martha came to meet Jesus. Her eyes were all red with crying. If only you had come quickly, she said. God will do anything you ask him. You could have made Lazarus well, but now he's dead and buried. Mary said the same. If only you had come quickly, they began to cry again. Jesus cried too. But he had a big surprise for Mary and Martha. A very big surprise. Lazarus will come to life again, Jesus said. God wants it to happen. And listen, here's the best news of all. Everyone who trusts me will live, even if they die. Jesus stood outside the cave where Lazarus was buried. Lazarus, come out, Jesus called. And Lazarus did.